say for my own good. Don't want be no superstar. Staring at my reflection, man, I'm like, I don't give a damn who you are. Yeah. I'm going in, going in. No sugar coat. No sugar coat. Faith like a mustard seed, man. I'm out the boat. I'm out the boat. It's nobody. Nobody. It's full of hope. Full Cause of hope. I already know who won. We ain't got the vote. Oh, I'm seeing my man. Welcome back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> this is this is to me this is what this is what Christian rap is supposed to be, right? Amen. So this is this is when Seriously. this is when you lead with the message, but the art is not running to catch up. It's it's right there in it's tandem. Right there. It's yeah. right there right. in tandem. Right. Because see what you have happening right now, what you have happening right now, if you would just imagine that Lenny Kravitz got saved and then realized <laughs> that he could rap. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz got saved and then realized that he could rap. He's like, oh, snap, and I can rap. Then you would have Jacob. That's what you have right there. All of a sudden, Lenny got... That's a quote. I'm I'm putting that quote out there. Do it. Do it. Do it. And guess what? I'm going to tell you, you ain't even got to give me credit for it. The Lord gave it to you. That's that's a gift to you right there. I'm telling you, it's it's amazing because when I when I listen to this music, I'm smiling so big. I'm driving around, you know, four kids in the background and I got to I got to sometimes rewind a little bit because I miss things because they're loud, you know, and I'm smiling because I'm going, Jesus, this is it. Because Mm -hmm. here's what I'm just serious. Real moment here. You know, I clown a lot. But when because there's so many people who are saying if you are overtly Christian, your music is probably subpar. That's a lie, man. That's right. a lie from the pit. Right. Here you have your overtly Christian and your music is ace. The the artistic ability is evident. I mean, mm-hmm. dude. Yeah, well, I agree. Absolutely. I'm I agree. Just, I completely agree. Glory to God, man. Yeah. Glory <laughs> to God. Glory to God. Because you know what we need right now? We need Christians who are unapologetic. We need Christians who are truly unashamed. And we need them to be winning in their art and put this argument to rest. We're mm. done with this. We're done yeah. always trying to throw back 10 years ago and talking about, well, this is what we used to have. And I mean, but really, <laughs> everybody was doing different stuff with their music, polyphonic sounds and whatnot. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't we all changed, you know, Okay. Hey, Jacob, how you doing? Right, right. I feel you. I, I hear you. Keep going. I try not to, you know, because the thing is, you said this word, and I wrote it down, and you said, "Man, urgency." And I, mm. and I believe with the issues that you are addressing, there is there is truly an urgency that is there. I believe that. Right. Among those issues, when you talk about issues of life and you talk about who is preeminent, that it is the Lord God, that he deserves top billing. Man, also you hear that you, man, in my opinion, just to listen to the artist, to hear how seriously you take your craft and the gift that you've been given, but you're not willing to sacrifice that on the altar of man's success. Mm-hmm. I, I just think that, man, it's been a long time since yeah, you, you come in contact with this kind of music. You, you really don't, you know, and, and it's refreshing once again to hear you know, a uh, high quality art, but high quality content, God centered, you know, and it's a shame that you, <laughs> we even have to say that, mm-hmm. but, it, it, you know, no mm-hmm. knock against some, but it's like, man, mm-mm, hey, mm-mm. you can do it. You don't tell me that you got to lead with this and let this catch up and all this kind of stuff. Like you can do both. You can do yeah, both. Can. And this is proof. Yeah, so can. I would tell everybody out there to go get this project. You got to get it. You're uh, not going to be disappointed. You won't be. You, you, you're going to keep spinning it over and over. And, and and in fact, let me see. Let me let me go back here real quick, because what is it? Uh, is it Illuminate? Is it Illuminate? Is that is that? Um, track? Is that? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> well, that's n- track number six. That's what okay. my kids love right now. They keep asking us to go back to. Oh, is it yeah. number six? Will is that the one that they're on right so. now? They want us I to think keep it's spinning it. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, you, I think that's Illuminate. Yeah. I don't know my yeah, own man. album. Hold on, let me look. That's all right. You have a baby, and he's five yeah, it's weeks illuminate. old. It's <laughs> yeah, no, I don't expect you to remember much from this first year of life for this baby. You just, you just keep going, you know. But no, I just appreciate what you've done here, and it's just, it's, it's banging. And so I'm highly recommending this to our listening audience. So many of our uh, members of our audience have said. Man, they're disappointed with what they see happening in Christian music. Just to be point blank with you, and so mm. they've been asking. Who do you guys recommend? Who can we listen to where we feel like afterwards we're not going to be upset and aggravated? So we are recommending to you, Jacob. So check him out. You can download his latest project, This Side of the Sky, um, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, all of those outlets, even in your Christian bookstores. It's spelled J-E-K-O-B, J-E-K-O-B. You can also check him out online, Jacob.com, Jacob.com. Jacob, let me ask you this. You know, as you kind of sit back and you see what's happening in Christian music, you know, w- without throwing shade in any direction, do you have any concerns? And if you do, what are they? With with the Christian music industry? Yes. 
you know, I don't, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to throw out any kind of judgment because, again, you know, I think sure. for me, it, it's, it's all about, uh, you know, just looking at yourself first. You know, for me, I, again, I, I always try to put myself in other people's shoes and, you know, mm-hmm. um, give them the benefit of the doubt first, especially when it's like fellow artists. So, I mean, you know, what I will say is, I think. I think that it is very easy to get caught up in in any kind of limelight, you know. Um, and so I think the biggest thing the church can do and people who listen to Christian music and care about Christian music is uh, to pray for them. Pray for your brothers and mm-hmm. sisters that are in this limelight that God is clearly has a hand in opening doors for where they're at and where they're going and the influences they're making. Because, um, you know, I, I do hear that as well. I hear the argument of, well, you know, Satan can open doors too and, <laughs> maybe, you know, maybe that's what's happening with a lot of these guys, you know. So at the end of the day, man, I think it's not our business to know what, what, what exactly God is doing in the background, you know. It's not ours to say what, what God can do with a man, you know, and what, what his, his uh, or woman, you know, what his choices are. So I, I think for us it's to pray. It's just, that would be my biggest my biggest uh, thing is just, just pray. Pray over these dudes because, um you know, the further you go, and same with me, please. I mean, I'm, I'm not excluded. If if I sell a million records tomorrow, like, for sure, things are going to change, you know, in my life. You know what I mean? And, and that is automatic. And so you have to be as prepared as possible for those things. And mm-hmm. maybe some people are more and some people are less. But we can continue to pray for them because they are being used. Uh, I'd say even even some people who I personally might think, in my own personal opinions, like, oh, man, they're doing this wrong or they should be doing it differently. Uh, I know many people that are affected by their music and have been either saved or saved others with their music or turned them around, you know, from, from going the negative route. So it is all it is all working together for the kingdom. We just have to continue to pray and try to be a family and not, not divide, you know. I understand what you're saying. Let me ask you this. Even the, on the broader scale when you're talking about art, do you think that there is a place for Christians in um, mainstream art when you when you talk about you know, movies, not just music, but maybe movies and, and media, whatever. Do you think there's a place for Christians or is it is it too muddled that you need to have a distinction or we need to have our own thing? Uh yeah, see that's that is definitely a very good a very good question. I, I think uh what I what I say in, in the song you actually just played, uh I started out saying we out here acting like this hate is strange. Man, that's in the word of God. Go read Matthew ten twenty two and you'll see that this road is hard. Like mm-hmm. I, I think <laughs> I think it's kind of funny to to say I'm going to go out and talk about like and, and again it depends on what you're talking about right I mean we can talk about just edifying the church and even people in the mainstream are are going to be happy with that because you just I mean it's not offending somebody to say praise Jesus you know what I'm saying like that's not in most cases in America that's not going to really offend somebody so much but now start talking about abortion and start talking about, <laughs> you know, different sins and start talking about, you know, the value of, of what the Bible says marriage is and creation versus evolution and start talking about some of these things and see how much hate you're going to get. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's what, it's why our, our king died on a cross, like, because he did not uh, just come and say, hey, everything's great. He came and told people how they should be living and pride <laughs> Uh, pride is a real thing, <laughs> you know. Yeah. We don't want to hear. We don't want to hear what we're doing wrong, you know. Especially if we have no relationship with God at all, um, it, it's offensive. It is just offensive. So I think it's hard to walk that line. I would say, you know, there's um, in in media all, all across the board, whether it's, it's movies or music or whatever, you're always gonna you're always gonna be battling if you decide to speak against the I guess status quo or whatever you want to call it. You're always gonna have a battle. So. Is there is there room in mainstream media in mainstream movies for true like just straight true Christianity where you're talking about what is what is right what is wrong what the word says is right and wrong and how we can live correctly without pointing fingers at everybody but talking about all of us as a whole um, mm-hmm. that's hard that's a very hard thing to do so I haven't seen it yet in my personal opinion where it's been done um, very very well I, I think personally. What would you say to other, even Christian MCs who would look at you or, you know, musicians or whatever, who would look at you and say, you know, Jacob, your music is divisive. It's kind of preachy and um, it, there's really not a place for it. And what we're trying to do, we're trying to to unify. We're trying to bring people together. And so when you talk about issues, you can't really unpack that in a three minute song. So what would you say if people say your music is preachy? 
you know, I, <laughs> I'd say, <laughs> again, I'm going to use an example of one, one situation. Say that I'd to say, my face. You know, no, I'm just kidding. I, no, no, I'd say, say, that to, say that to over 55 million babies that have been aborted. Say that to their face. Like, mm. you know, on, like, on, I mean, uh, it doesn't matter. It's not me. It's, it's not. It's not me. You know. I mean, the Bible says Psalms one thirty nine thirteen says, "For you created my inmost being; you knit me together in my mother's womb." Like, don't don't tell me that that. I mean, that is word for word what's happening when a child is being created and conceived mm-hmm. and everything else. So, mm-hmm. it's not about me or my opinions. Again, I think I think I'm just gonna leave it with this with this topic. Like, I think that people, Christians in general, get way too caught up with what people are going to feel about them personally oh. when they're sharing when they're sharing the word of god like mm-hmm. it's not my word i did not create the word of god i did not write the word of god like right. i'm sharing with you what i believe now if i say i believe it fully then i got to share it fully if you ask me what i think about you know um homosexuality is it a sin i'm not going to i'm not going to fuzz around and tell you that i don't think it's a sin i'm going to say i believe what the word says and the word says it's a sin i'm not going to go and give you this long you know Trying to give you a, a, a long, far away hug you know, with my words. I, I mean, we can we can be friends. <laughs> I, like I that. got I got friends. I got friends who are you know uh, battling those things or, or dealing with those things or going through those things. Whatever you want to you know use politically to make that make sense. But I, I got friends that are doing that, and that the reality is, I, I believe something fully. I don't believe it halfway. So I'm going to tell you what oh, I believe on, in love. I'm not going to judge you. I'm going to tell you what I believe. Hmm. Amen. Man, Jacob, I just got to tell you, I like you. I like your hair. I like your guitar. <laughs> I like what you're communicating right now. I like how careful you're being in this interview. I can appreciate that. I really do. And, I, and you know, some people, because they listen to this show, and they're probably like, come on, yes or no, give me, give, just, you know. But I appreciate that you're carefully choosing the words that you're going to use to communicate your points. And I, I think you're doing it beautifully. I, I really do. And look, and check this. I even get what you're saying when you're like, and so I'm going to leave it with this on this point. You're basically saying like, okay, so Miki, move on. So let's, 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 I don't have much else to say. So I get that. You understand what I'm saying? Because I like your hair, I'm going to move on. So here we go. We got one minute as we wrap up this show. I want to tell everybody where they can get your music. Go to Jacob.com. It's J E K O B, Jacob.com. Or you can also get it from all your favorite yeah. music outlets and even those. Oh, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, for this album, this side of the sky.com is also something I want people to go to because okay. it, it has a bunch of, that. you know, Quotes and stuff from scientists talking about why, and these are just across the board, brilliant scientists who are way smarter than me and, and, and a lot of people talking about where we came from and, and how there's evidence wow. of uh, uh, hmm. design. So. Okay. Man, awesome. Like Fantastic. This side of the sky.com, this side of the sky.com. Make sure you check it out. Hey, listen, we only got a minute. This is our Spitfire round. And so you can't give All any right. qualifications to these questions. They're yes or no, either or, and you just got to give it and we move on. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, we only got a minute. Okay, we're talking about uh, child discipline. Switch or no switch? Ooh, no switch. Okay, Ebola. Panic or take it easy? Take it easy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> parenting. <laughs> parenting. Co-sleeping or crib? Crib. <laughs> yes, Lord. Okay, see, I like this. Okay, uh, when we talk about when we talk about diapering the child, cloth or traditional diapers? Uh, traditional diapers. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> We're talking about the way you like to read your information. Ebooks or traditional books? Oh, ebook, unfortunately. Really? Oh, my goodness. I got to feel and flip the pages. I can't do this with oh, you. I know, I know. I, it's I said, all right. Unfortunately, you... I'd rather read the book. Unfortunately. <laughs> it's all right, Jacob. You still have great hair. Our guest today, Jacob Washington. <laughs> On Aaron the Addisons, check him out, Jacob.com. Also, you can go to this side of the sky.com. I can't recommend more that you pick up this latest project. And then yes. check out his other works, man, holding it down for the Lord unapologetically. Thank you so much, Jacob. Urban. Revitalizing the spirit. Family. Restoring our community. Urban Family